when my work takes on a life of its own, goes forth into the world and makes its own relationships with people and uh, is part of a, an ongoing response. Uh, that's especially uh, inspiring to me and feeds back into continued inspiration. This episode of Beyond the Gallery is brought to you by Great Southwest, located in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'm Pat Music, and I'm based in Colorado Springs on the edge of the Garden of the Gods rocks, and I work in enameling, which is glass fired onto metal at high heat. My earliest influences in art were my parents. My dad was a painter who painted mostly in egg tempera and colored pencils. And my mother was a ceramist and in fact formulated her own glazes. So I grew up surrounded by an awareness of the visual world. Because I have a wide variety of interests, art was a way to integrate them. And so when I do projects or commissions or my own work, it gives me a chance to indulge in my other interests in the natural world or literature or, uh, or people. The more I think about it, the more I realize I have inspiration from many different directions. And one of them is working with other people. Collaborations is a form of inspiration. Another is the materials, the medium itself. Um, what I can do with it is, uh, ins inspires me to explore and experiment. Uh, specific places I've encountered in, either in travel, um, in Europe, Asia, or North America, and wilderness areas, places in the natural world. And so on a more philosophical or spiritual level, I'd say the natural world is a major inspiration. And another strong source of inspiration for me is uh, literature and poetry. But I do find when I don't get in the studio often enough, I miss it. So probably just the act of being in the studio is itself a kind of an inspiration. The basic process of enameling is, is glass fused to metal at high heat, so about 1450, 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. And I start with a piece of usually bare copper. Then I apply the, the powdered glass through a sifter. It's a very low-tech technique. It's sort of like dusting uh, sand on with a tea strainer. And then it goes into the hot kiln just for a couple of minutes. The glass melts, take it out of the kiln, the glass solidifies. And then I put on more layers and repeat the process. So I might end up with many firings, many layers, 15, 20 firings, um, any one piece. Cool colors look fabulous over silver. And the light bounces off the silver and reflects back through the greens and blues and they're just really deep. The warm colors are fabulous over gold. There's a cup in the British Museum that's a transparent red enamel on solid gold. It's just an amazing color of red. So each material has its own qualities and then the combinations, and we get back to the word relationship again, uh, the relationship between the particular colors and the qualities of the metal become part of the expressive quality of the finished piece. My favorite part is, is the dance between what I'm doing uh, with my experience, skills, explorations, what the materials are doing and telling me, and the concept in my mind. Sometimes I'll have an idea that's not completely clear in my mind, but it's something I'm working toward, and then I will see it emerge and be able to say, oh yeah, that's it, that's what I was 
what it is about my chosen medium of enameling that is so appealing is, is an interesting one. I, when I first gravitated toward it, I think on a conscious level, I thought, oh boy, I get to combine my interest in color and pictures and so forth that uh, was kind of like my dad's painting with um, the kinds of effects my mother was getting in her ceramic glazes. and That's kind of rich and yet subtle uh, colors of, of glass on clay. Uh, plus I was bringing my own lettering and calligraphy skills to it so it seemed to be a, a forum for uniting all of these uh, approaches. There's a certain level at which one wants to master a medium, but I think mastery has a lot to do with with interaction and responsiveness as well as just trying to make it behave the way you want it to. I'm constantly grateful for a healthy life and opportunities to pursue work in a field that is rewarding and that interests me. And I don't know if this is a fear or a hope, an aspiration, but I want very much to give back somehow and in some way. So whether that's a personal connection or whether that is speaking on behalf of ideas or principles or the natural world, uh, that's, uh, that's something that's important to me. This episode of Beyond the Gallery is brought to you by Great Southwest, located in Colorado Springs, Colorado. To learn more about Pat Music and to see Summer for Work, please visit greatsouthwestart.com.